Hey everybody, it's Shawboy here. I'm back from a video and today I'll be showing you how to make a laser using ray casting in Roblox. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to view at the top and then open up properties and explore. You can also open up output to see errors. Next we're going to go to explore. We're going to go to server script service. We're going to right click it, insert object, and then insert a normal script. Now we can start scripting our laser. So first we're going to want to get the location of where the laser is coming from. So as you can see here, for my extremely realistic example, we have a laser part is going to be shooting a laser. And then we have our victim right here that the laser is going to be shot at. Now let's go back to our script and now we're going to set up some variables. Snuggle laser part equals workspace, wait for child laser part. Then local victim, this workspace, wait for child victim. So it's just saving these into variables so we can use their positions and stuff. Next, we're going to want to get the laser itself so you can see the laser. So go laser, it goes instance.new part. Then I'll just set some properties real quick. And I've made the properties. The only ones that you really need are these ones right here. This is just so the laser looks better. Next, we're going to start raycasting. So I'm going to make a loop. So while true do. So loop over and over, and then you're going to want to put a weight in there because if you don't put a weight, it will crash your game. So you want to make sure you put a weight in there. Then I'll make it wait like a fifth of a second. So we want the parameters for the raycast so we can tell it what to ignore and what to not ignore and stuff like that. So parameters equals raycast parameters dot new, and then param dot filter type equals filter type, and then you have two options. These ones are old, so you don't want to use these ones, but these ones are good. So for our list, I'm just going to exclude one part. And then this is just the part you want to exclude or include. I'm going to exclude the laser part. That means it will completely ignore this, but it won't ignore anything else. And then there's also ignore water, which makes it ignore water if you want to do that. There's a collision group if you know how to use collision groups and stuff like that. And then respect can collide. If I turn to this to true, which I am, then if I put a part in front of it, like this, it won't go through that part. But if I turn this off so objects can go through it, it will ignore that part and go through it. And that's about all the parameters you need to use. And then for a raycast, we'll go result equals workspace, raycast. And then we're going to want the origin, which is just the position where it starts. So raycast, laser part dot position. And then we want the direction. So let's put victim dot position minus laser part dot position. So it'll just fire ray from like right here in the middle of the part to right here in the middle of the victim. And then at the end of that, you can put the parameters if you have any. Now if result, then print result dot instance. And then else print nothing got hit, which should never print because it's always recasting towards this. Now our code is done. So if I press run, which go to the arrow here and then press run. As you can see in the output, it keeps printing victim because that's what the laser is hitting. We can't see the laser yet, but we can code that after. If I go here and put a part in the middle of them, now you can see it's printing part. And to show that it's this one, I can name it to wall. And it's printing wall. So our laser is working. So now I'm going to press stop. And now we're going to make the laser visual. So we're going to want to move the laser part that we made right here. Not this one, but the visual laser for the raycast. We're going to want to move it to the center of the raycast and change its size. And while I'm at it, I'm going to save this direction as a variable so we can use it later because we will need that. So local starting C frame and C frame just means like position and rotation. You'll see frame dot new laser part dot position is that's where the raycast is starting from and then result dot position which is where it hit. This result, whenever it hits an object, it returns a bunch of stuff, like the instance, the position, the material that it hit, and the distance. This one this one helps you tell which service it hits, but that one's a bit more complicated. So we're going to use the position to see where it hit and point the laser towards that. And then we're going to want to move it forward so the laser isn't just right here, but we want it to be in the middle. So local C frame equals starting C frame to world space c frame dot new zero zero negative result dot distance divided by two. So what this is, it gets a c frame, it points it towards the ray cast, and then it goes like halfway between there because we're moving it by half of the distance. 
Next, we can move our laser C-frame to that, and then we can change its size. So size.vector3.new, and then just any number for the width, I'm just gonna put one, and then result.distance. Now our laser script should be working. So if I press run, as you can see, there's a laser between this part right here and the victim. And if I move it around, it'll follow it. And if I put a part in the middle, as you can see, the laser gets blocked and now it's only there and it's not reaching our victim. But if we change the collision to be false, which means that things can go through it, because we turned this on, the laser will go through it. And that's the basics of ray casting. And that's how you use ray casting in Roblox. Make sure to slap that like button and punch the subscribe button. Peace.